Yeah. What's up, everybody? You're catching this after the uh, live stream ends. Um, we're going to be doing a couple other live streams, some live EVP sessions. We are in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Hey, everybody, we're ready to go. We are at the Confederate Cemetery here in Fayetteville, Arkansas, which uh, it's our first time here. I've never been here. John's never been here. Yep. Didn't even know it was here, but it's a nice cemetery and a lot of headstones. Yep. So. This this video that we're doing right now, I'm just going to get be live, take you guys through the cemetery. Because we've, like I said, we've not been here. We've not explored this. So we're going to explore this together and uh, show you guys around as well. And then we're going to do uh, a couple live EVP sessions. Hey, Leanne. Hey, Georgie. Hey, Claudia. So let's take a... Take a walk down memory lane. That was supposed to change the camera angle and it didn't. There we go. <laughs> so this is up here. Founding Ladies of Southern of the Southern Memorial Association. If uh, any of these people are buried here, I'm sure they probably are. Even have camp security cameras or somewhere. All these graves right through here, these Confederate graves. <clears throat> Need to buy them a new flag. Surprised nobody wanted to try to take that statue down. Yeah. <laughs> Buttholes. I think uh, they'd be in a lot of world of hurt. Let's see. There's some short markers, like short, yeah. short distance in between. Yeah. Yeah. I guess people were shorter back then. But uh, this. Okay. I mean, look at this. I guess not a whole lot of. It's not a whole lot of room there. What's up, Josh? Same here, Leanne. Same here. A lot of, uh, a lot of soldiers here. Just probably turn down my notifications mm -hmm. there. Let's do that real quick. And you do pretty good upkeep on it. Check out this monument. Prairie Grove. Prairie Grove is actually not that far from here. It's maybe a 10 minute drive. There's a battlefield nearby. Let's take some pictures. Maybe get a better shot of that thing. Arkansas, as I say. Directed by the Southern Memorial Association of Washington County, Arkansas, 1897. These are men who, I can hardly even read that, whom power could not corrupt, whom death could not terrify, whom death could not dishonor. All right. I can read it better through my phone than I can actually looking at it. Yeah, there's Arkansas, Louisiana, Texas, Missouri. Southern. Southern. A tribute of the Southern women. Louisiana. Don't mess with Texas. It's funny, there's only like the one Prairie saying on. Grove. Like you got these, this placement for, uh, more quotes or whatever and 
It's only on the one side there, on the Arkansas side. It's a pretty cool monument. Faux show. Sure. Got it. different emblems. Hey, Karen. That's weird. Okay, swords. Died March 21, 1862. W.Y. Slack. Died from wounds suffered in the Battle of Elkhorn. William Yarnell Slack. Missouri State Guard, Confederate States Army. Hmm. Captain John C. Tony. He actually lived in 1920. This one right there. They keep very good care of this one. It's all mowed down. I mean, you got Confederates to the left of me, Confederates to the right. Here I am, stuck in. No, I'm just. <laughs> like, I mean, there's that, and there's more graves over there, and then there's more graves up there. And then. Across from that wall, there's like another little private section. Yeah, it's a camp, something or other. Another marker over here, base of this tree. Now, if I remember correct, I'm I'm sure there's like some ghost stories about like some of this stuff around here. Arkansas champion sugar maple. Okay. Sugar maple, man, that's an old tree. Uh, it probably is. That's probably as old as this graveyard is. Maybe that's a big ass fucking tree. Yeah. Sugar maple, we can come up here and tap it and get some sugar. We are in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Yeah, okay. So, if I'm correct, Anybody's ever watched Tales and Legends of the Ozarks? I believe this cemetery had some ghost stories to it. And there was supposed to be a house nearby, and I don't know if that's the old house that they would talk about. That's like a little caretaker's place there. <clears throat> but Fayetteville's a big town. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's probably got like 150,000 people. Arkansas. It's a big monument. This is. James Davis, died in 1863, born in 1820. Doesn't say of what though. I don't know if you guys can read any of that. Is it an original headstone? Well, that must have been a massive tree. Holy crap. So here in a few minutes, uh, after we're done with this live, we will uh, go live again doing a phone and EVP session. Um, we're just kind of figuring out where we want to do these sessions at, you know. And taking a tour of the, the cemetery. This is a really cool cemetery. All right, let's see what you got here.
big old flood snake. Slain in the Confederate service. South of this. South of this place. Yep. February 23rd, 1862. 18 years old. Yep. Four months, 17 days. Hmm. Pretty damn young. Yeah. That's an interesting right there. Yeah. How they did that. If there's a reason for it. Somebody's leaving coins up here. Yeah. A couple pennies. What year are they? No, they're not that old. They 1977, yeah. 1991. Yeah, yeah people leaving them. pennies all up on these. And that one and that one. Is anybody anybody in chat here? If you know of why people would, why they leave them on cemeteries. Okay, Josh Helper says, yeah, Christy, it's a, it's a military cemetery. Hang on. Josh Helper says, Hepler, sorry. I just read that people claim to have seen a Confederate soldier walking the grounds there and a huge monument changing directions. Talking about that monument changing directions? It'd be pretty hard to do. Yeah. But I'd like to see it. <laughs> like maybe people getting confused and yeah. turned around. I haven't checked those stones yet down there. But a uh, Confederate soldier, I could see like walking around here. I can, I can, I can believe that. Yeah. The entrance to the place is cool too. I mean. This big wrought iron gate here with the giant pine trees. Yeah, these huge that pine trees. And... Like I said, it's nice and cut down here. There's not, I mean, you can hear the traffic in the background, but it's not like overbearing. So. I don't know if there's any peculiar markers down this way. I don't see any. There's this. I don't know what this is. In memory of Gordon Dean Hale, commander of the General J. J. O. Shelby Camp. Number 1414, Sons of Confederate Veterans, Captain James Tyree Wright, Chapter Number 6, Military Order of Stars and Bars, General Patrick R. Okay, this is just a memorial marker. This tree is a Cherokee Princess Dogwood. So they planted this tree in memorial. Huh. Alrighty. This is a really cool cemetery. It's really chilled, relaxing. Quite nice. All right, let's go down this way a little bit. Bunch of bits of stone, kind of. Laying around. Indeed. Going back, make sure I didn't miss any comments. Yeah, I was asking about the uh, coin thing there. Like, I know there's a reason for it. I've heard of the reason, but like I forgot what it is. Like, what the reason for that would be. Uh, 
Oh, okay, that's right. To pay the ferryman. That's pretty cool. Not creepy at all. This is where the elementals come from. Yeah, this is a really peaceful cemetery. I'm actually pretty surprised by it. Looks like some of the retaining wall's been falling down. We've got this retaining wall that goes all the way around. I'm, I would not be surprised if they built this about the time the, or not too long after the soldiers were buried here. Like, I mean, it stretches all the way around this whole thing. Some of these monuments and stuff, like that main monument was uh, erected in the 1890s. So, I mean, that's probably about the time that all this was put up here. The nickel means what? You and deceased train together. Goes on from there. Okay. Yeah, I see it falling down. Falling down. Okay. So I think what we're going to do is uh, we're going to contact somebody and, and uh, here within the next 10, 15 minutes, hopefully, we'll be back on live to do uh, another one of these live EVP sessions. Um, I'm going to try tomorrow. I've got to check the hours, but I'm going to try to come back live tomorrow from another location, not to investigate, but to kind of show it around a little bit of a tour. We've got another marker here. It's just about this dogwood. Um, but it's an indoor location. It's a museum that I'm going to try to go to. Uh, I might go live from there tomorrow. What are you doing, John? Playing my Confederate music? Yeah. John's getting, getting it ready for everybody. So, all right, guys. We're going to go find somebody to do this live. And... Um, Hey, you're welcome, Josh. You're welcome. Uh, we'll be back on here hopefully in the next 15 minutes, 20 minutes tops, hopefully. We'll see.